The following video contains real and dangerous demonstrations of survival techniques. Do not try at home. Welcome to Austin's survival guide of how to survive in the wilderness. Here I'll teach you everything you need to know to survive. It's dangerous out here in the wilderness. And if you don't know what you're doing, you're in mortal danger. So I'm here to help. Let's go. So here I am in the middle of nowhere, no civilization for miles, and I'm gonna have to survive three days out here. No food, shelter, water, anything, no help. And so I'm gonna teach you how to survive like I am. Step one, build a fire. Fire provides warmth, light, protection from animals, and first, you need to make a fire pit. So we got, we got some rocks right here, we're gonna put it in a circle so the fire doesn't spread and uh, light the forest on fire. So I'm just gonna, Start that here, get my circle going. All right, so you see here, I have it in a general circular shape. That's what you're aiming for. And so I got this last empty spot. Once I put this rock in here, it should be done. And then we can start on our fire. Let's begin. Yeah, so this is adequate. This will suffice for our needs. So now that we have our fire pit, we can now get kindling for the fire. So perfect. Now the key is to get this nice green fresh stuff. This burns super well. So you get a bunch of this and you'll place it at the bottom of the fire pit. But let me just gather this for a few minutes and then I'll meet you back at the fire pit. All right, now that I have my wood, this should be plenty for our needs. I'm gonna lay down the wood. The key is teepee formation. So we got this kind of teepee here. We just kind of, okay, there we go. So we have our teepee. Now we just need to get some nice smooth sticks and we're gonna rub those together to start the spark. <laughs> The key here is the up and down motion. So we're gonna start going up and down, up and down. As you can see, I'm already getting some smoke. Oh yeah, that's smoking. So now, now that I've showed you the, <coughs> now I've shown you the proper form, we're gonna put it down next to the sticks and repeat the process. So I'm just gonna go at this for a few minutes. Shouldn't take long, especially with my strength. Uh, I'll just come back to you in a few minutes. Now you see the end result. This is our fire. And let me remind you, you can find all this stuff in nature and make this straight when you're stuck in the wilderness out of everything that you can find out here. And again, this was only after a few minutes of rubbing. All right, now that we have our fire, now we need to find some food. But before we can find food, we need a weapon to kill the food so that we can cook it and then eat it. So I'm gonna teach you how to make a weapon. So first thing you need is a pocket knife. Why do I have a pocket knife? Because I am a scout and I am always ready with a pocket knife, scout motto. So with our stick and with our knife, we're gonna do this motion. Well, this is called whittling and you gotta really put your back into it, put your glutes into it. And so I'm gonna go at this for about, I don't know, half hour or so, but uh, I'm gonna have you guys catch up with me later once I'm done and you'll see the end result. Okay, well I'm almost done here. I got about five more. And there we go. This is our makeshift spear. I know it's not much, but uh, it's what I was able to do with what I had and the time that I'd had. So as you can see, this can kill an animal. And so we should be able to find some sufficient food. All right, now that we have our weapon, you need, we need to find our animal and be alert for anything else. Do you guys hear that? It could be dangerous, maybe a cougar or something. I, I, it's, oh, it's up there. Ooh. All right. We caught it. This is how you catch an animal out in the wild. Oh wow, that was a really tough catch. I wouldn't attempt this at home if you're an amateur. Yeah, that's the basics. All about about all you need to know. 
Alrighty guys, stick with me here. We're on the last step. So now that we have our fire, we have our food, now we need our shelter. Those are the three basics. Food, fire, shelter. So I'm gonna show you how to make one. Let's go get some sticks. All right, so first I'm gonna go for a slightly more complicated form of shelter. We're gonna build a tree house. I found a sturdy tree. I'm gonna climb up here and, and start building. So let's, let's, let's begin. I'll, I'll catch up with you when I'm up there. <laughs> All right, so I found my, I found my tree. And so now this is, seems like a good place where I can get it. Treehouse, we're not gonna do that because it's a little more on the expert level. I'm teaching beginner level stuff. I'll show that in the expert video. So we're gonna do a little lean-to. If you don't know what a lean-to is, the log lean to uh, each other and create a shelter. So as you can see, I have my base. I've started my lean-to here. This would actually be a good log for a lean-to. I'll just, but it's not necessary. That's more rain flap kind of style. Um, so I'm gonna get more of these logs. Lay them out here, and we'll have a nice shelter. So, join me back in five minutes. So here is the end result of our simple lean-to. Anyone can do it, really. And look how much shelter this provides. This simple lean-to can cause you protection from nature, the storms, the animals, the wildlife, the weeds, the bugs. Thank you for tuning in to this how-to video. Please like, subscribe, and comment any new how-to videos. I have a plethora of knowledge, skills, and wisdom that I can share with you. Have a good one.